Hi, AMP students. This is Mr. Becker here to talk about doing a Talkfist hemoglobin test. All right, so this right here is Talkfist paper. Uh, it's a, a piece of, of uh, essentially uh, construction paper uh, that's embedded with a set of chemicals that only react to oxyhemoglobin. All right, so uh, for this, uh, we do need real human blood. Uh, so. Your professor will be uh, will be supplying you with some real human blood for this very brief test uh, to be able to uh, kind of show how this operates. Uh, all you do for this is uh, you take a drop of blood and you stick it onto the paper. And you can see because the paper is pretty large, I could cut this into lots of sheets. Uh, it's easy to carry around. Uh, so this is a uh, test that gets used quite a bit in the third world where uh, doctors might have to carry their tests with them uh, and have them be fast and cheap and uh, easy to, uh, easy to uh, use. All right, so to do this, we need the Talkfist hemoglobin scale shown right here. All right, so the thing to actually focus in on are concentrations down through here. All right, so for humans, uh, the concentration range is anywhere between 12.5 grams per deciliter and 15.6 grams per deciliter in terms of hemoglobin concentration. All right, so uh, this particular scale really likes the percentages, um, but those don't really uh, mean too much because it's entirely possible for people to have concentrations of hemoglobin over 15.6 grams per deciliter. All right, so uh, the way in which this test is going to uh, operate is, as I said, uh, you need a little bit of blood, so your professor will be providing you with some of that. All right, so I'm making some blood right now off screen. All right, and there's our spot of blood. All right, so uh, the thing that we need here is for the blood to absorb into the paper first, all right, which looks like it's done that, it doesn't take very long. And then you need to read this before it dries. So I'm going to place it on here like so. And what you have to do is you have to match the color here with the color of the blood on the Talkfist paper. And that will tell you the concentration of hemoglobin uh, in blood. So you can see here, those two colors don't quite match. Uh, that one doesn't quite match either. Here, eh, getting closer. There, I think that one's just about perfect, but let's do 15.6. You see it's not quite there. All right, so if we take a look, we can see that since this is my blood, it looks like I'm around 14.1 grams per deciliter. Uh, having just gone to the doctor uh, and have, uh, having had my blood drawn, uh, I was at 14.5, uh, which is considered normal for a 40-year-old male human, uh, so that's considered pretty normal for me. So you can see I'm well inside of the normal range. All right, so uh, we will be doing this in lab uh, where you'll be sampling uh, your own human blood uh, given to you by your professor.